all across this nation, there are men and women who have made a decision today that alcohol will solve nothing. But also, Father, there are so many that would give anything to be sitting where these people are sitting. Help them to realize the price, the cost, the years, the days, the months that they have paid for the seat they sit in. Lord, help them to be grateful that today they are in the house as opposed to out of the house. The story actually begins with Gordon Cosby and the Church of the Savior, who has a commitment that morality and Christianity must be done by practical application. And from that was an offshoot called Samaritan Ends. Well, I think all businessmen should be involved. That's part of the thing. That's part of what we're supposed to do in the community. Not only lead our own businesses, but put some of the money back in the community to try to make it a better community for all of us to live in. And it also makes it a better community for the business. Today, in this place, the business and foundation communities are pointing the way. Today, in this place, we are celebrating the hope that Lazarus House offers. We are committed to helping people become whole. Washington, D.C. has the country's highest rates of substance abuse and addiction. And Samaritan Inn has one of the country's highest rates of helping people recover from substance abuse and addiction. I can't think of any other organization that I would want to be a part of in giving my, in giving my time than Samaritan Inn in this area of helping people who have found themselves literally enslaved by chemicals find freedom. Uh, to live into the person that God has always wanted them to be. I love Samaritan Inn. Over 90% of the, the people, men and women, who finish our program remain drug and alcohol free a year after they complete the program. Four times a month we have what's called a step up and it's a celebration and uh, during the course of that step up we recognize and honor men and women that have successfully completed the intensive recovery program. And I'm learning and they still hitting my head but it's getting better. Thank you. I kind of got in trouble in 02. I had an abusive boyfriend. I hurt him. I was facing 30 years. Uh, God's grace, I got one year probation. When I came to Samaritan Inns, I really didn't have a good childhood and felt like the, for the first time I really had a family. 60 or 70 percent of our population reunite with their families, get their kids back. My son played football for Morgan State for four years. For four years, I never missed a game. See, if I was getting high, I wouldn't have made those games because when my son was little, he used to sit up in the window. He'd wait on me to come, and uh, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be there, but uh, we have a great relationship now. I'm there. My aunt and uncle kept my son until I had two years of sobriety. And when I left uh, Tabitha's house, I left there and I moved into an apartment with my own name on the lease. And my son came to live with me at the end of that school year. He starts his junior year this week at the George Washington University. He's a Trachtenberg scholar, a benefit of recovery, of having a clean and sober mother. We 
we've been coming once a month and preparing food and sitting down and having dinner with men from different houses. I think almost everyone in the firm has been corralled to come and either provide food, um, make some of the food, or actually come here and serve and be part of the dinner fellowship. And each time when we're done, they say, I'd like to do this again. I didn't have anything. I was, I was sleeping on the street. Uh, I got my job in two weeks after I got in transition. I work for Safeway. I've been there going on four years. The only thing I can say is that Samaritan is the best program that I ever, ever heard of or ever knew about, you know? I've been a manager at Starbucks for four years. Samaritan Inn saved my life. I am forever grateful for this program. I wouldn't be in no way if I wasn't if it wasn't for Samaritan Inns. Out of desperation, they gave me hope. Out of unmanageability, they gave me stability. My family is here at Samaritan Inns. This is the family. This is the family. I, I really love my job because I see the transformation take place firsthand. From the person who comes in the door, who's tattered and down on themselves, uh, to the person who's now looking good, who's smiling, uh, who's developing self-confidence, to the person who is ready to leave this program, who is ready to be independent, and is humbly grateful and ready to give back. And that's probably been one of the, I think, most satisfying of all the things we've done. And uh, I'm so grateful for 25 years of success, 25 years of story after story after story of people who, who thought their life was over, but here found that they had a new life to live. Uh, I'm excited about the next 25 years going forward. <laughs>